KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Let's take a look at where we're ending today. Uh, the ES Midi down just about 1.4%. Russell kind of recovering a little bit at the end of the day, still down about 4%. Uh, NQs down 1.58%. And then the Dow futures down just 1.4% as well. Gold contract uh, hanging, well, it's hung steady there about 2005 and 30 cents. Silver. Uh, taking a little bit more of the beating today, down about 2.89%. And then copper, of course, trading at 370 on that contract. Uh, crude oil up 77, uh, excuse me, it is trading at 77.79 cents, up about 1.13%. Uh, give me a second here. Let's see where the 10 year yields uh, kind of ended today. 4.3% we are at currently in those rates that is a strong bounce back from that 3.8 percent that we're at briefly uh tesla you know down 0.2 or 2.3 percent they're slashing the costs of their model y in order to compete uh, i think that they are going to start really feeling the pressure from chinese electrical uh vehicle makers uh steel dynamics down five percent still trading at 118.37 the dxy strong at 104.88 this kind of uptrend that we've been in with it uh, and the Q's, you know, trading at 428 and then SPY, where are we at here with the SPY uh, down 1.4%. You know, we were talking about the GDX with Tim and the miners just kind of got uh, obliterated on this. So GDX down 5%. I was taking a look at their weightings. You know, you had Newmont, which I think is the heaviest weighting at 13.15, uh, you know, down 4.65% today. Uh, Barrett Gold uh, down equally uh, about 4%. That recovered a little bit from last time I looked at it. Um, and then we have Igneco Eagle, you know, down 4.11%. So all these miners got, you know, hit pretty hard. I think FNV fared better than everyone else. Yeah, only down about 2.4%. But, you know, those are like the top four heaviest uh, weightings. Then besides for WPM, uh, Wheat and Precious Metals, and they're down 5% as well. And, uh, you know, not on super high volume, but not necessarily low volume either. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's hope that, you know, CPI gets a little bit better and we might even see, you know, some positive stuff tomorrow. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, tomorrow we have Tommy on at 9 a.m., then we have Basil at 10, Steve Rhodes at 11, Larry at 1, and then Tom O'Brien, the man, at 3 p.m. Eastern. Have a great rest of your day.